Hello, my name is Roger Watson and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Advanced Nursing and I'm also the Professor of Nursing at the University of Hull. Working in a female-dominated profession, it doesn't seem unusual to me that women should be just as good as men at science, research and in publication, and of course there's no reason to suspect that they shouldn't be. I come from a hard science background and I have to say that it was very male-dominated and remains that way. However, some of the most brilliant fellow students I had were the female students, and likewise when I did my PhD, some of the most brilliant colleagues were also female, but it's shameful how few of them there are, and it was certainly very shameful then how very few of them there were. I'm not very sure how we encourage women to come into STEM subjects, if indeed it's true that they don't want to come into STEM subjects. I think it's probably more a case of a male-dominated side of academic life, which needs to demonstrate that women can do as well and can develop their careers and can do the other things that women do if necessary, like having families and babies, which necessitates taking time off. And this shouldn't be to the detriment of their careers. So I think it's more a case of change that needs to be made in the academy rather than by women themselves. I'd like to add something else. My subject of nursing is not considered to be a STEM subject. And I'm not alone in thinking this, that if we brought STEM subjects, uh, brought, sorry, brought nursing into STEM subjects, which I think should happen, our research is very cognate and supports a great deal of STEM work, then there would be an immediate influx of female academics, possibly in the majority in some countries, into STEM subjects. So that's one way that I think we could address this issue. Very glad to speak to you about this. I'm not an expert. I hope my views are interesting and helpful. I look forward to seeing what others contribute towards the debate. Thank you very much.